Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we have another drawing of Ragna. It was also done in charcoal but this time on a yellowish domed paper. So a slightly different technique and a slightly different approach to drawing highlights. Let's get to it. Let's have a look at the drawing process. So this one is going to be slightly different. I'm gonna put the link to the older drawing of Ragna, which is one of my most popular videos by the way. This one is going to be a lot less beard centric. So the beard is going to be a little bit simpler and the technique used here is going to be a little bit simpler as well. I'm not going to use any uh, indentation, I'm not going to use any sticks to create indentations. I'm just going to use a pencil eraser for drawing the beard. I took uh, the reference photo from one of the scenes in season 2 where he's looking down and smiling. I kind of like the scene uh, where he is reunited with his wife and son and that's what I chose to draw. Now this is going to be a vignette and I'm going to create a little bit of background. Well, not really background, I'm just going to put some value in in the back uh, to create contrast with the light side of the face. Anyway, as for my tools, I'm going to be using charcoal and it's going to be a combination of charcoal pencils and vine charcoal mostly. I'm doing the hair using a medium charcoal pencil and the, the darkest bits in between these corn rows uh, I did that with a soft charcoal pencil. Both of these are woodless charcoal pencil, they are Worrison woodless charcoal pencils. You can use any brand, I prefer these because they can be sharpened pretty easily. So now I'm softening this a little bit with a brush and blending it but I'm not pushing too hard because I want to be able to erase some highlights later. And I'm also drawing this part of the hair here under, uh, around the ear. This is vine charcoal, by the way. I'm going to use this vine charcoal stick to cover the background. I'm not going to cover all of it. I'm just going to, like I said, I'm just creating a vignette. Um, a uh, more detailed sketch I guess and I mostly want this uh, darker value in the back to be able to create some contrast with the lighter areas. We're gonna have some lighter areas on the top of his ear and on the left uh, on the right side of the face or his left side. So the right side uh, is going to be a little bit lighter because the light source, my light source is um, mostly coming from the right. And I'm going to blend that with a brush. Initially when I started uh, working I wasn't really sure whether I was going to put the background in there and then I decided that it will just look better. I would, I would just be able to achieve more contrast that way <coughs> and more depth. So I decided to add, uh, add in a little bit of background and I decided to do that with the vine charcoal and at first I wasn't really happy with the amount of value so I went over it again and again pushed it around with a brush I also experimented a little bit uh, how it would look if I put down a little bit of uh, white charcoal to blend that background but I didn't really like the way it looked so I removed it so at this stage, uh, this is uh, how it was going. I was just covering the background and making it a little bit smoother and a little bit darker uh, before I move on to my main subject, obviously. 
but I've already done most of the hair uh, because the sides of the head are shaved and now I'm gonna do the eyes uh, there are a couple of tricky bits here uh, about the eyes the first thing is that uh, they are in the shadow so <clears throat> And, and he's looking downwards, so we won't really be able to see much detail in the eyes themselves. Uh, I'll just try to create some suggestions of detail in the eyes, uh, although in my reference I couldn't really see either the pupils or the irises, but I'm just going to make this a little bit darker, but not too dark so that it's obvious that um, his eyes are not too dark and also here has uh, light eyelashes so I'm gonna leave a little bit of uh, white space where the eyelashes are to try to suggest that these are a little bit lighter in value and I'm gonna do the same thing with the eyebrows because I can't really make those too dark <coughs> And he has a lot of these wrinkles around the eyes so I have to put those in as well before I start shading with line charcoal because I want to I want to know where they are I decided to add in a little more soft charcoal to the hair on the left to make that darker and to separate the side of the head from the background so that it stands out nicely so he's looking downwards and um, it's, it's a little bit tricky I have to make sure that the eyes look as though he's looking downwards but we can't see too much detail in them and I'm adding some detail to the mustache but I just need some value there because I'm going to be adding some highlights on top here I decided to move on a little bit with the hair because uh, the hair will need some more detail I just put down some uh, basic shapes some, uh, areas of a lighter and darker value so that it looks like some parts of that hair are raised and that there's shadow in between these rows but right what I'm doing right now is I'm going back and adding just a little bit more of the darker value using a soft charcoal pencil and a little bit more texture using a medium charcoal pencil what I'm holding now is a soft charcoal pencil I'm adding in these darker areas I'm doing that so that the shadows look deeper so that we have more depth in there and then uh, once I blend that just a little bit and I'm using a totillion by the, by the way for that I'm going to be uh, drawing some highlights I softened everything a little bit with a brush and and now I'm starting to draw the highlights and I'm using a Kohinoor pencil eraser so this is not a white pencil or a pen uh, or a white charcoal pen this is an eraser, it's just a regular eraser but it's in a pencil and it can be sharpened and I'm using it to add some detail on top of these cornrows and to <clears throat> make them stand out a bit and also to give them a more realistic texture like there's a lot of these uh, fly away hairs because he is blonde and I have to keep that in mind so I can't make his uh, hair or, or the mustache or the beard too dark the beard is especially interesting because it has some areas of darker hair and some lighter hair almost like uh, dyed highlights in it uh, but I'm I'm gonna do that using a similar approach first drawing the darker areas and then pulling the highlights using an eraser I think an eraser did a good job I didn't have to use any other 
technique and uh, besides uh, this is not going to be a super large or detailed portrait. The paper I'm working on by the way is about 9 times 12 inches in size and this is a yellowish tone paper that I already used before. It's a Kohinoor uh, yellowish sketching paper but it's of decent quality and I like the way it works with charcoal and I've already used it in one of my previous videos and that was a drawing of an American buffalo uh, that was the drawing where I used this exact same paper and I kinda liked it uh, now I'm using vine charcoal to shade the face and you can see that I basically did that using something that kinda looked like cross etching a little bit but I didn't cover all of it and then I pushed uh, that vine charcoal with a brush and now uh, we've created some soft transitions on the face and most of the face is shaded. Uh, now I'm doing the hair on the left and this is, this is going to be darker but I'm just going to draw some highlights in it later and I'm cleaning up the edge between the ear and the background. I want the ear to stand out a little bit more and adding some more detail to the earlobe. Occasionally uh, where I felt that I needed to clean up some of the edges I used uh, a black colored pencil a little, a little bit. I normally like to combine a black colored pencil with charcoal but in this particular drawing I used uh, charcoal almost exclusively. Here and there I used a little bit of black colored pencil for some of the detail and of course I also used uh, Stadler HB graphite pencil for the sketch. So you might say that 95% of this was done in either vine charcoal or charcoal pencils and that uh, some, some other stuff were done with graphite pencil or a black colored pencil as my auxiliary tools. Um, I'm gonna shade the side of the head here a little bit more because I want it to stand out against the background because the background itself is uh, a little bit darker so I need to add more value to the side of the head and I'm going back in with vine charcoal and just adding some more value to some of these areas so that I can give the forehead a little more shape so that it looks more round and so that the uh, eyebrow area stands out a little bit more as well as the cheekbones. So now I'm adding back in the details around the eyebrows and the eyes, these uh, wrinkles or lines uh, around the eyes. I, uh, I didn't completely remove them when I started shading with the vine charcoal. I could still see some of them so I put them back in as well as these scars. He has a couple of these prominent scars on the forehead and on the nose. And there's also going to be some tattoos on the side of the head where the head is shaved. I'm just adding some darker areas in the ear lobe. And you can see that I've uh, added a lot of dark value where the beard is going to be. It's not going to remain that way because I'm going to be adding some highlights to that uh, but like I said um, it's a combination of lighter and uh, lighter and darker here his beard anyway I added in something that kind of looks like tattoos because I can't really make out uh, the symbols or the shapes I just try to imitate what I see uh, just to make it look like he has some sort of tattoos on the side of the head and he has quite a bit of beard on around the cheeks and I'm doing that on the other side as well mm. I'm just softening the shading on the uh, on the forehead and I'm adding in some of these lines wrinkles on the forehead and uh, pulling some highlights under them so that they look more 3D
and I'm doing the same thing with the ear <clears throat> and now as you can see I'm using my pencil eraser to start drawing in some of these lighter hairs in the beard and the mustache but in order to do that I'm gonna have to finish the rest of the beard I'm, I'm gonna have to cover that whole area with enough uh, dark value so that I would be able to create contrast so that these lighter hairs would really stand out I just added a few flyaway hairs to the hair on the left and I started working on a little bit of his uh, shirt or jacket but I'm gonna continue with that a little bit later now I need to finish the shading on the right side of the face or his left side of the face and put enough value in there so that I can later pull some highlights with my eraser I'm also working on the mouth and adding some facial hair under the lower lip as well and now I'm using a soft charcoal pencil to create this darker hair on the beard and this has to be very dark because otherwise the lighter hair that I'm going to draw on top of it won't stand out so I'm not going to leave it like that don't worry I'm going to be drawing some uh, highlights and uh, I'm just refining the shape of the nose and the mustache and the shadow under the nose <coughs> anyway in my previous drawing uh, and that was a larger portrait than this one like I said that one was a lot more beard centric because the beard is uh, bigger and there's more detail in it I used a different technique because I used a pointed stick to create indentations and then I went over it with charcoal and then uh, the white hair start, started to stand out you see how I pulled some highlights here with a pencil eraser on the nose uh, and these stand out nicely once I put uh, put down enough uh, value on the nose otherwise these wouldn't, wouldn't really be visible and the same thing goes for the hair on, and the forehead on the left I really had to create some darker value in the background for these to stand out you can see what I'm doing now with the beard I'm starting to add these uh, lighter hairs but I'm kinda doing this in stages because uh, I'm varying the amount of pressure uh, so that uh, some of these lighter hairs stand out a little bit more than the others I want to make it look like uh, the beard is kind of layered I want to give it some more uh, depth and I'm just refining the area around the mustache a little bit so that they would stand out a little bit more as well as adding some more detail uh, to the face using a black colored pencil to refine uh, some of the facial features and I wasn't really happy with the uh, facial hair under the lower lip so I decided to add a little more value there and uh, pull some highlights to create some more contrast and I uh, decided to go over the, uh, the main part of the beard and add some, some more of these uh, lighter hairs so that these stand out even more so I went over this part a little bit faster uh, this is a narrated time-lapse video but if you want to see full-length real-time narrated videos you should check out my Patreon uh, because I have a lot of real-time videos there so if you are interested in seeing longer videos you should definitely go there I'm just putting down some finishing touches on the beard and the face and I wasn't really happy with the amount of shadow on the uh, on the hair in the top left part uh, of his head so I decided to add a little more soft charcoal pencil there I made it a little bit darker 
and because I want to stay consistent with my light source because the left side is my shadow side and the ear on the left is a little bit lighter because of the reflected light which is coming from the other side but that doesn't really matter my left side is darker and now I started to work on his uh, clothes and I'm going to simplify this a little bit because he has some kind of uh, a combination of a leather armor and chain mail I can't really draw every single detail I added a little bit a little bit more value uh, a little bit more shadow under the beard there so that these lighter hairs would stand out and so that well his beard would stand out a little bit more I'm adding in these seams uh, and uh, so that the so that this uh, jacket that he's wearing has a little bit more detail and structure and I'm going to refine those a little bit so I'm adding some shadows under these uh, different uh, parts of the of that uh, shirt or jacket whatever it is and I'm <coughs> putting down some darker values so that these uh, uh, metal rings iron rings that the chain mail consists of would stand out a little bit more Initially, I uh, wasn't really sure how detailed I, want, I wanted to make those. So I decided to simplify it a little bit because um, I neither I understand the pattern. It was a little bit more complicated because um, there were tiny straps binding these uh, uh, circles, these rings together. So it, it's a very complex uh, elaborate pattern of chain mail that I don't quite understand and it's honestly a little bit too complicated to draw especially on a, a vignette like this and I wanted to focus on my portrait so I just just decided to uh, put down some darker uh, value then draw these lighter circles and then draw some value inside them or put some shadow inside them so that they stand out a little bit more so that uh, it doesn't look too flat and that's basically how I'm going to cover uh, the rest of the the rest of his armor but like I said I couldn't just leave those uh, circles just like that I needed to add a little more shadow and a little more value in in inside those circles so that they stand out a little bit more and so that they look a little more 3d and I also realized that uh, there was some um, that the structure of this shirt was a little bit different so I made some modification to it a little bit later as you will see so I refined that a little bit with a totillion and added a little more value to the neck and to the overall area and then um, and then I uh, decided that I need to modify uh, the shape of this jacket a little bit because uh, around the sleeves it has uh, another leather segment which is attached to the rest of the arm uh, with these tiny seams or straps whatever they are and I did the same thing on the other side as well and that's kind of like the a border for the for the metal armor part so I just added a little more detail in there I'm almost done that's about as detailed as I'm gonna make this as usual I have my signature on a small piece of paper to see where it would fit best I'll pr probably put it here and lay down the pencil so that's the finished drawing I hope you will like this little vignette or a sketch of Ragnar and check out my other videos
Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.